Assalamu alaikum. Good evening. I'm a special educator, Sunina from UAE. So we will be discussing about an awareness in our body. So how important is that in our body? And how does that work? And what are the signs that it is poor signs of that awareness in our body? And what are some methods how we could help to improve this awareness within our body. So let's get started. An ability to sense our body in space, that is really important. When I move my hand, I really know without looking into my hands that I know that my hands are moving or I'm about to move my hands or I'm, I'm about to move my legs or I shake my head my eye uh, or if I nod my head I uh, yes I am about to nod my head but that doesn't require a visual strength to look into it so our body's ability to sense in space which is called proprioception which is really important to understand the movement in our body, to understand the speed, to understand the force, the direction. This awareness or this sense play an important role in our body. So how we could better understand about this awareness in our body? If you walk in a straight line without looking at your feet, so this is the sense or the awareness that really helps you to go well in that movement of your body. And then when you try to catch a ball, so how you could catch a ball when it comes in a direction and you are trying to look at the ball from the direction that comes into you. So that awareness and this sense really help us to catch the ball. And what helps us, what helps our body to combine, to give the sense or awareness, our ligaments, our muscles, our tendons really help us to build this awareness in our body. They are really responsible for this. So what happens if any injury comes in? If any injury takes place, the, the uh, working process of this awareness in our body is that the ligament tendons they have receptors which gives or which passes information to our brain to move and to sense accordingly so if any injury takes place it alters the messages to enhance the skill or to move the body accordingly by looking into the proprioception skill so what are the poor signs of the proprioception? A poor posture of the body, clumsiness, awkwardness in our moment. When we ask our child to carry a glass of water to the kitchen, so they take them appropriately without spilling them. So you can observe how well he or she takes them without spilling. And reduced ability to gauge your pressure of any texture when you touch any object the feeling like how hard or how soft you touch that object to feel it so reduced inability to gauge an object as well the clumsiness in the movement which makes them uh, to support their head when they sit in a chair they uh, they use their leg to support the strength uh, support the chair using their legs and the awkwardness in their body the poor posture maintenance when they sit and uh, the inability to hold their body the trunk of their body so these are the few signs which shows that our kids lack the proprioception skills so how we could help them i can give you a few activities Okay, you can use a whiteboard or a chalkboard for this activities and I'm going to give you four different numbers or uh, letters you can use it. They are, I'm just going to take a piece of paper and I'm going to show you that. You can use P, I hope you can see them well, P, 9, B and then D. 
these are the letters and the number that I consider for this activity. So what you're going to do is like you first initially when you start this activity you are going to give them information that when I show you visually present these numbers or alphabets you're going to move your body accordingly. For example if it's B I ask the child to move the right leg. If it's D the left leg. So simultaneously the child to move their right leg, then the right hand, then the left leg, then the left hand. This is how this activity goes on. And slowly when they master the skill, you can increase the rate of the information that you give. B, D, you can increase this uh, information like that you provide them. And the next one is to and fro activity. You can use a trampoline activity, you can use a swing, any uh, tools that gives them a to and fro movement. And then you can place the objects, any objects which is favorite. You can start with the object that is really favorite to the child. Then you can ask them when they move in the two direction. Okay, okay, what comes here? Is that your favorite blue car? And how many are they? Are they in number two or are they in number three or are they in number four? So this gives them an idea and directionality to move. Okay, I'm going in this direction. So where I can hold my head, where I can move my leg where I can move my hand and where when the child pass on the information it gives them confidence to move their hands and leg appropriately and to coordinate both parts of their body and the next one is isometric pressure in all the directions so these are the few important activities that you can really work with your child to improve proprioception skill I use one more activity. I'm going to introduce that to you. These are magnets. I brought them from the cafe. Okay. Okay. This is the yellow magnet. I'm going to place them just the area below my thumb on my right hand. And then I slowly take another magnet. And my intention is to improve this skill to use the both sides of my body and appropriately which leads to proprioception proprioception skill too so when yes so i place them together and then i put them together in this way and ask the child to press them for a few moments okay this activity really helps them to improve the balance proprioception skill as well as the pincer grip of the child too, the holding, how well they could hold the pencil. The pincer grip also can be modulated using this activity. And the next one, this is a glass. You can use a plastic when you start the activity. I put this glass piece, okay, this is the glass piece on my right hand just below my thumb and then you ask the child to get this movement where you hold them tightly which is air filled and you tilt them this gives them the zigzag movement it gives them a full body movement as well as it gives them an idea like where the body moves and the pressure inside will really help them to improve the focus too and the movement at the same time, when you start these activities, you give them directions, you give them instructions. When you give the directions, start from right and then gradually move on to left and improve the activities on the left side. That will improve all their skills. What all the skills you work with your child in future, it really will be improved when you give more importance to the left side. Yeah. So this is all about the proprioception skill. So I hope you all enjoyed. If you have any comments, you can leave it below. I'll be answering to all the questions. Thank you so much.